There are many ways to celebrate the new year, but one way that should absolutely positively not be on that list, firing a gun into the air. Here's Fox 29 photojournalist Sergio Cruel. Let's keep Philadelphia silent. I saw this Instagram post from at no gun zone asking for silence in Philadelphia for New Year's Eve. No shooting in the air as a way to celebrate the new year. What goes up must come down. I basically had to relearn how to do every single thing. I've had years of therapy for just post-traumatic stress disorder because of this. It's not a new story, but a necessary one. Given the current condition of Philadelphia reaching over 480 homicides as of today, 33-year-old Joe Jaskoka was very blessed to survive the New Year's of 1999. Joe, 11, and his cousin Jeff, 13 years old at the time, were walking back from a New Year's celebration in South Philly when 11-year-old Joe was struck in the head by a bullet that belonged to someone celebrating nearby. I have a picture from the actual spot where my body was. He started filming blood out, there, out of his mouth and out of his one ear. Over 20 years later, the bullet is still stuck in his head and he permanently paralyzed on the right side of his body. As we approach New Year's Eve, Joe says this. Celebrate however which way you want to do it, but uh, please don't fire your guns up in the air. Uh, what goes up must come down. I suffer from flashbacks, nightmares of the incidents still to this day, like afraid to go near windows. Every New Year's, there's just this thought comes to my mind. Watching his cousin get struck in the head by a bullet, Jeff's struggles from that night continue into his adulthood, causing him to battle with major mental health challenges, but he is persevering by sharing the effects that night had on his life in his new book, 215. Shooting a gun in the air to celebrate this New Year's Eve is not the smartest thing to do because once those bullets go up, they gotta come back down and you cannot control who they hit in the process. Let's keep Philadelphia silent going into 2021. The gunshots are becoming way too familiar. I'm Sergio Cruz, Fox 29 News.